Welcome tonight um, to our walkthrough of um, what's new with Mathology. And again, I'm your host, Patty Henderson, Math Marketing Manager. And typically I start um, at the beginning um, and give you a little bit of background around what Mathology and, and ma what Mathology is and what it does and what's new. So Mathology is a set of K-8 print and digital math resources that engage students while building math confidence and a growth mindset. It's been carefully re researched and co-developed by math educators all across Canada. Uh, when we started thinking about doing um, something for math um, for schools, we actually started about four or five years ago um, supporting teachers with new professional learning resources. So on the left-hand side, far side, you'll see some titles that may look familiar to you, whether it's Taking Shape or What to Look For or Elementary Middle School Mathematics, as well as Teaching Math with Meaning. Those professional learning resources really helped inform mathology as it was being built. The other piece that um, acted as the foundation is the purple cover. You can just see the corner of, corner of it there. It's the Pearson Canada Mathematics Learning Progression uh, for grades uh, K to three and now four to six. So those are the, the pieces that really helped us build mathology from the ground up based on research uh, and really strong math pedagogy for teachers. So. On top of that, on the right hand side, we started with um, creating some uh, print student classroom resources. So um, we uh, began with the grades one uh, to three activity kits, over 100 engaging games and activities per grade, designed to support student understanding in math and also lots of engagement there. The bottom right hand corner, we have um, 72 K to three um, fiction and nonfiction math little books. Um, each one of those little books has a teacher's guide and they really help not only with engagement, the stories are fantastic, um, but they do build early math skills and really great at building math vocabulary. Along the bottom, this is where we get into your zone, Susan. Um, we have the brand new Mathology Math Mats for grades three to four. These are booklets that are uh, contain 44 laminated right on wipe off math mats. Um, fantastic for in class, at home use, um, quite safe. They're easy to, to wipe on and wipe off, which is handy right about now. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about those um, coming up. And on the bottom left hand side, this is also new to us. So we have, we started with K to three and just this summer we started working on grades four, to, uh, four through six for mathology. And so we have um, the very beginnings of grade four through six, which are called readiness tasks. These are 15 to 20 tasks per grade. Uh, they provide a snapshot of students' understanding of specific math concepts. Really important um, coming out of what seemed like a six month March break. Understanding where your students are um, at the beginning of each math unit is really important. So we'll share with you a little bit more about the readiness tasks tonight as well. So what's new this year? Lots is new. So um, left-hand corner, the Pearson Canada Mathematics Learning Progression for four to nine. This is, um, again, our math continuum um, to understand where students are uh, developmentally and where uh, you need to help them next. And you'll see this math learning progression come up more and more as we speak this evening. Um, for grade three, brand new activity kit. So we have um, lots of activities uh, for students there are activity cards that you can, again, wipe on and wipe off um, that help build engagement. And we also have mathology.ca grade three, which uh, is going to be the basis for our, our walkthrough tonight. Right beside that are the, the math mats I told you about. And on the far, far right hand side are um, readiness tasks for grades four through six. What's not new? Uh, mathology is has always been curriculum aligned and focused on the big ideas. So based on that math learning progression, Mathology continues to support teachers in knowing where students are and understanding next steps to support student growth. That is the one key idea that most teachers take away when they start using Mathology is that strength of understanding where your students are, where are the next steps, what is my next teacher move to help support student growth? And um, you'll see that over and over again tonight. And for those in Ontario, um, we have a brand new math curriculum that dropped out of the sky this summer. And um, just know that we are committed to 100% curriculum alignment and coverage. Um, and I'll talk a little bit later about what that looks like and show you what that looks like as well. Today's focus is mathology.ca. So mathology.ca is what I call a living online hub. Um, it's a teacher hub 
It currently contains over 300 carefully curated K-6 lessons and readiness tasks. Um, because it's a living online hub, it allows us to update it constantly. Our development team, um, I, call, I say that they have uh, great ears. They do. They listen carefully. We have lots of users currently who give us feedback on an ongoing basis. So um, not only do we add to it and improve based on user um, research, but updated, which is really handy at a time when there's curriculum change. It's curriculum focused, and you'll see tonight what I mean by that. Designed to support differentiation. Again, having that um, basis of the, the learning continuum really does help us um, show where students are and what your next steps might be for all students in your class. Engaging over and over again, we've had um, teachers and students tell us that they love mathology, whether it's the math little books or the activities. Um, engagement in math is really critical at an early age. Um, it helps build resiliency in math um, and a love for math, and, and that's so important. Uh, perfect for at home and online use. I'll, sh I'll share with you tonight some ideas around um, what that might look like and also supported by short in the moment professional learning videos. So we're at a, at a time, we're at a time before COVID-19 hit, but it's even worse now I would say um, where in the past we were able to gather as professionals and learn from each other um, and there isn't time for that, there isn't funding for that um, and currently now we can't, we can't do it. Um, other than virtual. And so knowing that uh, your time is valuable, we have built in some really great um, videos that support you in the moment uh, with your professional learning. And, and we'll take a look at that tonight as well. So on the right hand side is a, a visual of what's inside mathology.ca. Um, top left hand corner, we have lots of shared, shareable, editable worksheets for extra practice. Top middle, we have read aloud books and engaging math stories. That's those 72 math little books inside mathology.ca. On the top right, we have ready-made weekly, monthly, and yearly lesson plans. Um, we'll spend a bit of time around planning because again, that's something that most um, teachers do not have time for. And mathology.ca really shines in providing some plan ready-made plans for you. Um, makes your life a little bit easier. Uh, right middle, we have fun activities and games, and so that's all those activity cards from um, our activity kits. Bottom right, um, the readiness tasks are inside mathology.ca, um, our uh, professional learning videos, and the math mats. The math mats are fa fabulous um, as a physical uh, student resource um, to be in the hands of students, but we also have them inside of mathology.ca as well. All of that talk, it's probably the best time now to just take a look at mathology.ca. So I'm going to get out of my presentation here. And Jody and Janine, as I'm switching over to my present to uh, mathology.ca, are there any questions that we should address at this time? There are no questions. <laughs> oh, okay, that's great. So fantastic. Thank you, Jody. Thanks, Janine. Um, this is the, the home screen for mathology.ca. When we first did our research um, around doing a uh, digital, I call it a digital teacher's guide, that online living hub, um, the feedback from teachers um, was this, that your job is sometimes involves going online and finding really great lessons, whether it's in Pinterest, um, in Google, Teacher Pay Teachers, there's a variety of places where you can go online and pull off some, some lessons. And there are some challenges around that. Um, it's hard to know whether the activities that you're doing um, match the curriculum. And so uh, because time is so critical and it's, it's tough to get through a curriculum in, in a full year, you really want to know that those lessons are curriculum aligned. And it's often hard to know whether the, you know, the math is at the right level for the students. Is it too high or too low? And so there's a lot of um, reasons why having a curriculum focused, curriculum aligned uh, lessons built for you in one place it's a good thing. So how do I search for those lessons? That's the first piece of mathology is finding great lessons. So in the middle, you'll see a search bar. And right under that, I'm gonna start with show all lessons so you can get a sense of what's inside. So in a second, you'll see that we have 587 lessons. So right off the bat, maybe that seems a little Google-ish Google in that that's a lot of lessons. So how do I narrow down my search? So I'm just gonna scroll down for a minute so you can see that the lessons involve the math little books 
and as you keep going, the activities will show up. There's 587. So how do I narrow this search down to exactly what I need? So across this middle piece is where you'll find some filters that help you find what you need. Um, the first filter most teachers will use is by grade. So let's go into grade three. Um, you can see we've gone down to 125 math little books and activities. You can also filter that search by strand. So maybe we want to go into number. We're down to 51. You can um, also filter by types. So we have activities in here. We have those readiness tasks. We have little books. So if we say little book, we're down to 10. So there are 10 math little books for the number strand for grade three in mathology.ca. So that's a, one way of finding things, um, good lessons in mathology.ca. The other one is right in the search bar, you can actually do a keyword search. So if you want to do skip counting, for instance, and hit search. 237 results across all those um, grades from K to six. So let's again do, narrow our search down by grade three and you'll see 35 results. Skip counting is usually a round number, but let's try number anyways. We're down to 25 here and type. Let's do an activity this time. So there are 13 grade three um, skip counting activities that you can choose from that support the number strand. So that's another way to search, but I have to tell you, um, especially if you're in Ontario at a time of, of curriculum change, most teachers wanna know um, what lessons are in here that support this new curriculum. So for any province that you're in, mathology.ca has the, your curriculum built, baked in um, inside. So today, I, because I'm sitting in Ontario, in Ontario at the moment, sorry, Jody and Janine, um, I'm in the Ontario license. Know that every province has its own curriculum search built right in. So today I'm in Ontario. So I'm going to go into grade three and you'll see your new curriculum right across the top. So these are the strands from the new curriculum, whether it's social, emotional learning, number strand, you'll see um, the um, overall expectations here. When you go into algebra, that's when you get into the, the new content such as coding and mathematical modeling, um, data, spatial sense, as well as financial literacy, which is brand new and it's also in BC. So we're gonna spend some time in financial literacy because that is the, the bridge that gap, um, connects all of us online tonight. So um, you'll see the overall expectation here. And when I click on that, you'll get a drop down menu and for this one, there's just the one expectation. Um, on the left-hand side, you'll see a, uh, a magnifying glass in green. So when I click on that magnifying glass, it means that you have an activity um, involved here. And look at that, we have seven um, activities or math little books that support financial literacy at, at grade three. So um, we have three little books and some activities. So tonight I thought I would take us for a walk through what a math little book looks like inside of mathology.ca and then later and what an activity looks like. So let's go into the math little book called the money jar. It's right here. So every math little book um, lesson has a similar structure. There's a section at the top called about. When you click on the next, you'll see a lesson and you'll see beside that differentiated support. So I'm gonna go back to about and we'll walk through each one of these sections so you know what's inside. There's a sh short section on what this lesson is about and what the math little book is about. Uh, for those who are interested, we do have the Fount of saint uh, reading levels here. We have the math focus. So this math little book looks at adding and subtracting to 100, as well as composing and decomposing based on units of 10. Directly below that will be your curriculum. And this is, the, this is definitely the new Ontario curriculum in here. And the learning progression. So I, I talked about our uh, developmental continuum. Every um, lesson has the, the, this learning progression at the bottom in a digital format. And it will show you which big ideas from that learning progression are being unpacked and exactly where you are on that learning continuum. Um, so that's really helpful. And it shows you that this is a very rich math little book that we're going to take a look at tonight. When we go into lesson, this is where you will, of course, you'll see that the cover, when you have 72 math little books, having a good um, visual of the cover is quite helpful, I think. Um, on the right hand side, you'll see um, a little bit about the story and how to, to share that story and what to encourage your students or children. You'll see below that there is a first read. So this is how to introduce this book. So some really great ideas on how to introduce the book. 
And I am actually going to show you what this, the book is. So right underneath the cover, there's a link. And you'll see it says the money jar. So I'm going to click on that link. And what it brings up is all the 72 math little books inside mathology.ca are in a really great read and listen uh, version that is perfect for a variety of purposes. Um, it's great for um, front of class. It's great for projecting. It's great for sharing. And I'll show you what that looks like in a moment um, with parents and ch children at home. So let's take a look at, first of all, the read and listen part. So as I um, scroll through, you can see uh, all the pages are here. When I do that, at the bottom, you'll see um, a play button. So I'm gonna play maybe half of the, the first of uh, this book of, um, on this page. The students in Mr. Tresnack's class are curious about the new chart in their classroom. They have lots of questions. Why is a soccer ball on a list of animals? Why are there prices on it? Are we getting these for our class? How many soccer balls can we buy? Okay, so right off the bat, I haven't had a chance to read this book, but now I am curious about that soccer ball. I'll have to, I'll have to read more later and find out why the soccer ball's on there. So you can see that the, the read um, aloud version is quite helpful. What we found for, um, teachers that maybe have parents supporting um, students at home, or you want to share this book with your students so that they have access to it um, while you do, you can actually have access. So at the very top of the page, you'll see this is a URL. When I click on it, this um, gives you a chance to copy and paste this into your learning management system. So we ask that um, copyright tells us that, yes, you can share it if you have a license, and you can share it within a uh, password protected sites such as your Google Classroom or Brightspace or whatever learning management system you have. So this is a really great way to have that uh, take home piece with the math little books. So I'm going to go back to the beginning and we also have an activity. These are fun and shareable. So I'll show you what this one is. So each activity has a read aloud portion. So every time you see this little audio um, that can be read aloud, which is helpful. Down below, you'll see that you have um, what I call an interactive whiteboard. So you're able to start moving these across. So great for synchronous um, learning. Let me add that so I had to complete that. Um, great for synchronous learning, but also just know that at the top, if you can go and click on it, you can share that. Again, if you have a license and on a password protected site. Um, we've had um, parents enjoy doing this with their with their uh, children as well and so at the top right hand corner you might want wonder what do I do with this activity what's my tip here which my what is my next teacher move so top right hand corner a little drop down menu it said teacher and parent and here is a really quick lesson plan on what to do and what to ask students or children as you're doing this activity so each math little book inside of, of mathology.ca has that read aloud and it has a fun activity um, with it as well. So let me get back to where we are. So we talked about um, the math little book, what to do with the first read. There is one more um, great support for you with the math little books in differentiated support. This is where you're going to get all of your line masters um, that are in PDF and Word. So um, if you like the line master as it is, you can download it and again, share it in your learning management system. If you want to modify it, there's a Word version as well, which you can go in and modify and share. Um, the types of, of um, PDFs and Word um, inside each math little book, you'll see that there's an assessment master here. Connecting home and school. So this is a letter to home and this is a great opportunity. Maybe you want to download it as Word. It gives you a start on what is this lesson about? How are we helping um, your child with this with this math concept? So that starter letter is already there. Um, there are some fun games. There's a math mat around the, math, uh, the money jar. Um, reproducible number lines, double 10 frame, a uh, number of the day. It, there's no end to the types of activities that you have here at your fingertips to use um, in support of that math little book. So that was a really fast walkthrough of a math little book. Let me go back to our search 
And I'll show you what an activity looks like it as well. So I'm going to scroll to the bottom. I see we have a financial literacy activity here called purchasing and make, making change. So let's go into that. You will see that the lesson looks pretty similar to the math little book. We have an about, we have a lesson, we have a section on assessment and differentiated support. So I'm going to walk you through each part. So about this lesson, tells you about the lesson. It shows you that you're in grade three, that this is one of the lessons near, near the end of this unit. Content background. Not all um, math teachers in elementary have that second teachable as math. We know that. And so having some background information at your fingertips is really important as well. The focus for the lesson. So this lesson focus, we're looking at making purchases and determining change when considering needs and wants. And there's an additional focus here, adding and subtracting two digit numbers. This is really helping you understand that these activities and the math little books are really based on math. They're in math first, and so it's important to know what the focus is. Your curriculum is there. And again, having that learning progression at your fingertips here as well. Um, this activity unpacks two big ideas, so it's another really rich activity. I'm gonna scroll to the top and get into the meat of the lesson. So every lesson looks pretty much the same. I'm going to scroll down a bit so you can see the top of the lesson. Every lesson starts with the strand in the left-hand side. Any materials that you need to support this lesson, um, so you saw those PDF and words that supported the math little books, they are uh, right here on each activity. Again, in PDF and Word so that you can modify it if you like. For the grade three cards on the right-hand side, you'll see that we have included um, an exit ticket. So let's take a look at what that looks like. There you go. So every lesson, grade three lesson, has um, that exit ticket here for you if you want to use it. And, it. and again, you can download it and share that in your learning management system. And it also has extra practice for the students. So P again, PDF and Word, but let's look at the PDF practice. And again, it, if you want to use this and share this, you certainly can with your students if you feel that extra practice is needed. Um, we, we certainly learned from our research that by the time you get to three, grade three, that extra, extra practice is, is appreciated, so that's there. When you scroll down in a lesson, you'll see that it's a standard three-part lesson. So we start with the, the before, and as you scroll down, we have images. And again, if you are teaching um, in a virtual school or hybrid um, and synchronously, um, it's great to be able to, to uh, make these images a little bit bigger. So if I click on that, you'll see that screen opens up and it makes it a lot easier to, to see and share. Go back to the lesson. As I scroll down, you'll, the, the second part is the working on it. If there's a, um, a direction that you want to share um, and make really clear, the what to do is also something that you can open up and make as big as possible, which is helpful when sharing. Uh, especially sharing your screen. There's differentiated support, whether it's accommodations or extensions. And then when I scroll up to the top, you'll see that we also have consolidation. We've included the exit ticket and practice in that section as well, which is where they usually stay, uh, live. The what to look for is that those ongoing um, assessment prompts that you want. The piece that most teachers um, really appreciate from us though, probing questions. So as that students are doing these activities, and especially if it's online, it's hard to, to see um, students asking some questions to understand and unpack their thinking. They're not easy to come up with, but we've provided those probing questions here at the bottom. Um, we've had teachers say that this is probably one of the most powerful pieces that they make use of on a daily basis. As I scroll down, you'll also see that uh, for those who have our physical activity kits, those um, cards are also represented as images. Again, great for uh, virtual learning because you can click on them and make them big. Um, again, you can project these. The other piece that uh, is helpful is you can print them. So anytime in the bottom right-hand corner you see this little printer button and it's live, that means you can print it. It prints as a, um, either a black and white or color PDF. Um, with a direct link to, to um, Google Classroom, or you can download it and upload it to whatever learning management system you currently have. So uh, we have different pages here, as well as this is one of the math mats I told you about. This is um, one within mathology.ca and a thinking space as well. So those images really do help 
um, if you're doing any online teaching. But the other piece that most teachers are loving from this are our interactive. So every activity lesson has a uh, interactive um, tool attached to it. So I so showed you what the interactive look like for the math little books. For the activities, they're at the very bottom here. We have 20 of them. And I'm gonna go into the Pearson Canada Money tool. It looks slightly different from the one that you saw for the math little books, but again, it's interactive and you can do some drag and drop activities here. Great for front of class and teachers often ask us, well, is this something that I can also share? Yes, at the top. Again, if you click on it, this is something that if you have a license, um, you have a license to, to share that um, in your password protected learning management system as well. So lots of great ideas here on how to use these activities um, either in class, uh, live or um, virtually. So that is a lesson and I'm going to go next to um, assessment. So I'm gonna click on assessment. So as you're doing these activities, um, maybe you've done five or six and you want to get a, a sense of where where have I just been or it might be getting close to either report card time or parent teacher night it's really helpful to be able to have um, this assessment available to you so inside um, the assessment piece um, you can build your classroom in here it's really easy is just add a, add a student and your students populate this demo uh, this class here you can call this I've called mine a demo grade three class, but you could call it your own class name. What this allows you to do with every single activity that you do, that um, progress and uh, next steps for student, understanding student, students and where they're at with this activity is a drag and drop. So I'm gonna go in and click a couple names. So you're observing students. And down here, as I scroll down, you'll see there are four, four boxes. Um, each one shows progress or a place where students can sometimes get stuck with this concept. So this first box says compares money amounts using part part whole relationship. You might have observed some students that are stuck in this spot here and you can add them by that. I just uh, did clicking. You can drag and drop as well. Um, the next box uses part part whole relationship to find a missing part um, as you're doing activities. Um, and watching your students, you might know, think, you know, Fabio does that. So I'm gonna go down and add Fabio to, to this group as well. So you can see a pattern growing here where you're able to, to um, observe your, your students where they are. The most powerful part, I have to tell you though, the drag and drop is um, fun and it's fast, but it's the next steps and helping your students progress that's important. And you'll hear next steps from me a lot tonight. The next steps to help support the students that are in each box are right below. So I'm gonna click on the next steps. So in that next step, you'll get a pop-up that will give you an in the moment idea on how to support that student. Sometimes it's something that you can say or help um, there. Sometimes you, you might need additional next steps. So um, oftentimes we'll have an in-depth intervention. I'm gonna click right on it because that will take you to that intervention. Oh, and you know what? It, it, um, that one it isn't linked yet. So I'm gonna get us back to assessment for a second. I'll show you what that intervention looks like in a minute. But each one of these is linked to your, your next step. So Again, an idea of in the moment and what to say. So when you have done that um, for each of the activities, this is building up a, a really great database of, of lessons that you've taught. And you think, you know what? I, I need to see where I'm at um, with my students. At the very top of the page, you'll see something called analytics. So when I click on that, you'll see class and student analytics. I'll go into classroom first. So um, you are, uh, approaching um, report card time perhaps, and you wanna see what lessons you've taught and where, where you are with each lesson. Down the left-hand side are all the lessons that you taught. And here's the one that we're just working on here. It tells you what date you did this assessment, but it also gives you a really easy, um, almost like a red, yellow, green light um, to understand where you are. So some of these lessons are in progress, there are some where attention is needed. So you have students that are in those earlier uh, pieces of understanding and you might need to go back to do a mini lesson to support them. That gives you a heads up about that. And then you'll see that you have some lessons where the students understanding is great. They're, they're 
primarily in those those later boxes and, and their understanding is quite good you're on track so that's really great to, to see where your your students are at a glance you probably want to also see where your students are so i'm going to go into analytics one more time and do student so this is maybe you're approaching uh, parent to teacher night and it's going to be virtual maybe this year um, here's your students you have your list of students here and you can pick any student and you can see what lessons you have taught and again that red green yellow light so we'll go into you know, Fabio had a few more there and you can see how, how this might uh, support you um, at a time especially whether it's meeting with your principal or with your with your parents or with your student um, this is everything that you need at a glance um, on your dashboard so that was a quick look at assessment there is one other piece to um, our activity I mentioned the fact that you have some mini lessons um, these are really important to help differentiate your instruction um, you have a mini lesson that's on grade so when I click on that you'll see that it truly is a mini lesson a really short um, lesson um, with any of your uh, line masters attached here and each one of these lessons is printable that print button button is right there um, let's take a look at one of the intervention lessons I'll scroll down and you can see that intervention lesson is here as well with any of the materials you need right on the page and again printable um, we usually have between one and two intervention lessons and we also have an extension as well so lots of ideas on um, added mini lessons around that concept. We know that there's also often misconceptions. So for instance, student doesn't think spending money is related to subtraction. When you click on that, here is in the moment your next teacher move, what to do, what to ask, right on that page. As I scroll down, you'll have some next steps in class. So some more ideas on how to extend this lesson, printable. This next steps at home, everyone has been using quite regularly during COVID-19. So again, ideas on how to help parents, guardians, or caregivers, or other family members support um, these children at home. And again, that is printable um, so that if you have a license, you can um, put that on your learning management system. Last pieces of, of this lesson would be the word wall. So um, that's um, extra support for a word wall and related lessons. The last piece of support I'm going to share with you, and I've saved the, the best to last, you're going to love this, planning. Um, this is a time where you have no time to plan, and it would be great if some plans were actually made for you. So I'm going to go up to the top, and you'll see a section called plan. If I click on that, I'm going to go into all plans. And so what methodology.ca allows you to do, two th important things. Um, you have a chance to create a new plan and that's great and that's usually what teachers will do once they get more familiar with mathology.ca today because we're new to mathology.ca um, we built in some plans for you so i'm going to go into the the grade three plan know that if you're in ontario um, these plans are very soon going to align to the scope and sequence that the ministry has shared um, we're working on that right now but for now we've built a, a, a sample grade three plan for you so i'm going to go into that plan we have them for grades one and two as well when i go into that plan down the left hand side you can see your units down the left hand side and Right beside it are the math little books and activities that support that unit. As I click on the next unit, the little book change changes, so does the activity. This, to be honest, if you just want to, the first place to start, this would be where I would start. I've showed you how to search, um, search by curriculum. This is probably the fastest way for you to search. So um, knowing that that work has been done for you. Now, what if you don't want to start with counting? or you wanna take notes on these little books. So the best thing you can do is go up to this top part and say, use sample plan. So you're gonna make this sample plan your own. I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna call it. And save it, you can call it whatever you like. The moment I have saved that plan as my own, it gives me a lot more control over what I do with this plan. So that pointer that you saw now turns into a little hand that lets you move. So you might want to start with place value first instead of counting. So I just pull with another drag and drop and plunk it at the top. And that's the easiest way to change 
um, this into whatever, um, however you teach your units based on the plan you probably already thought about for this year. So you can drag and drop and change those there. When you've done that, let's get into place value. You'll see that you have your math little books here. You have activity cards as well. So this is your, your plan at a glance. You may want to go in and write a note on any one of these lessons. Um, so finding Buster. Um, So that's your reminder um, for your plan. So that is a really great way of uh, personalizing it. What most teachers say to me next is, can I add my own plans um, to this? Yes, you can. So this button at the bottom says add non-mathology lesson. What this does is allows you, I'm gonna click on it. You can title what it is. You might have something from, um, from your own Google Classroom, you might have something from almost anything that has a URL. You put the title in there, you can uh, select the type of that. Is it an activity? Is it a YouTube video? Anything that you want to, to put in there, a short description if you feel it's necessary. The thing that links it to your plan is the URL. So you um, copy and paste the URL, put it in here and save, and you've added a non-mathology lesson and it will show up right here. And you can add it in. You can uh, also, drag and drop any one of these lessons on the side in as well. Put that in and you have that um, ability as well. The last piece I'm gonna sh share with you because we're getting near the, near the end um, of the, this presentation. Um, if you have a license or if your board has a license, so it's, uh, Waterloo Class, like I believe ha has um, licenses. If you are team teaching, it would be great if one of, you, one of you creates this lesson and shares it with the other. So that idea of being able to modify it, then share it is really important. So top right hand corner, I'm gonna click on that button. So the, when we provide you with a, um, a, a plan here on the side, it has 100% curriculum coverage. The moment you start adding your own things or, or changing the arrangement or uh, creating something new, um, teachers have asked us to, to uh, provide a button here that shows you what your curriculum coverage is so you know that you're, you, you have that coverage or where the gaps might be. I shared with you activities and math little books that had PDF and Word um, pieces attached to them. That's the material list for every activity. This actually gathers that list for you in one place. So that's really handy. Sharing. So this allows you to share this less, this plan that you created with someone within your own district, if you have a district license, or someone within your own school that also has a license. Um, really helpful, That um, especially good for team teaching. So that is a really quick look at uh, planning. I'm going to go to the home page. We are about five minutes um, to the end. I, I think um, now is a, probably a good time to start wrapping up my presentation. So I'm going to Go back to my, um, my presentation. As I'm shifting out of this, again, uh, Janine and uh, Jody, if you wouldn't mind letting me know if there's uh, um, uh, any questions that we may um, want to address before we near the end here. There's nothing in chats, Patty. Okay, and is it still um, just us with Susan? I can't see the list of attendees, but I do see the chats and Susan. Oh, we have lots of attendees. Oh, we have lots of folks here. So I am going to um, see if I can get people off of mute here. Sorry about that, guys. Welcome, uh, those of you who have joined us. This is the point at which I talk a little bit about um, what, what mathology costs if you don't have it already. And then we'll open up the floor to, to any questions that, that you might have as well. So let me just uh, keep that and drop that down and get to our la one of our last slides here. So uh, we walked through the math little books that are inside. Um, you saw all the activities that are in there. We have K to six lessons. There's over 300 in there. There's great value. And so on the right hand side, you can see the 72 math little books inside, uh, over 380 um, curriculum focused lessons, lots of student activities, videos inside. Um, line masters that are edit, edit, editable, I always have a problem with that and it comes out sounding like you can eat them, but editable um, line masters, those interactive math tools, 
we have readiness tasks as well. That license that you get has all that inside for one teacher license. So the value um, that you get is amazing. One teacher license with all of that in it is $140. Um, if you wanted to purchase it for five years, it's $665. So um, that's, a, I think, a fantastic value inside mathology.ca. I know that we um, add grades as you go um, as well, so that value will, will certainly increase over time. Um, we have a special that's on right now. So um, should you purchase mathology.ca one year, that opens you up to a lot of savings around our print resources. So mathology.ca is the online teacher piece. We have um, activity kits that are great for in-class. We have those math mats I talked to talk to you about as well as the math little books. So if you're in a, say in a hybrid situation or you have um, students in class, it's wonderful to be able to have um, students using all the same resources at the same time. And so they have the digital support within mathology.ca. You also have the print and there's savings between now and Christmas on that. So 15% savings um, with the one year license. And if you buy the five year, that opens up 25% off. Um, so those savings are, are really important as well. So I'm gonna skip us to the very last screen. Um, this is your chance to ask us any questions. Just know that this went fast. I know it went fast. Um, our next steps for you is to, um, uh, this, this session's been recorded. Um, we will send you that recording over the next couple of days so that you can review it if you, if you like, or if you've missed the first part. I also talked really fast and showed you a lot. So the video may help you, um, maybe you wanna review searching or how did that plan go again? Uh, I think, again, the video should